have Avinash Gaikwad from Science who will be telling us about whiplash, the science of sperm motility. How many of you have dreamt of having children someday? For most of us, this is the most natural dream in life. But unfortunately, this dream is not always guaranteed. As one in six couples have difficulty getting pregnant. And in 40% of the cases, this is due to bad sperm alone. People think sperm count is the golden key to male fertility. But that's not completely true. Because sperm motility matters just as much. As sperm, one of the smallest cell in the body has to travel a daunting distance to find and penetrate the egg. OK, wait. Let me simplify this journey for you. It is just as equivalent of me running around Monash campus three times to find my hot date, <laughs> an egg, and not knowing if I was running in the right direction. <laughs> On top of all of that, every time I run, it would be the day of student graduation or student elections, where I have been tackled by every student in my path. <laughs> well, this might sound funny in this context, but what I'm actually trying to say is that even a slightest defect in sperm motility can have devastating effect on male fertility. We all know that sperm move in forward direction by whipping off its sperm tail, but we are still far from understanding the exact mechanism which drives this process. Our lab recently identified a group of proteins known as the CRISPs, which supports this whipping of the sperm. As such, for my PhD, I'm really interested in understanding the role of CRISPs in regulating sperm motility and de determining male fertility. To do so, I have developed a cutting edge imaging technique which can image the sperm in a clarity never before achieved. Basically, it can take high resolution, super slow-mo videos of the sperm. As this is the first time ever one can see the sperm in this clarity, I needed a new tool to analyze them. So I collaborated with mathematicians and engineers, and we have developed a software which can help me analyze these videos. In short, the colorful pictures on my slide is actually the data generated by this software. Over here, figure A tells us the motility pattern observed in a normal healthy sperm. And figure B, you might have guessed it right, is a motility pattern observed in a sperm which has motility defects. And not surprisingly, they lack crisp proteins as well. Well, with this technique, anyone can pinpoint any motility defects in the sperm. Diagnosis of male fertility can be a heartbreaking and a lonely experience. But with my research, I hope it will help us evaluate sperm motility much better and also help us understand the whiplash of the world's smallest cell, the sperm. Thank you.